Jack, well played. Um, first of all, how important do you think that wicket was tonight that Lyndon managed to get towards the end of the day? Yeah, really important. I think obviously a late wicket is always important, especially after the sort of up and down day that we had. Um, so yeah, nice to make early inroads and uh, hopefully we can continue doing that in the morning. Um, when you and Joe Clark came together in the end, there'd been a, a sort of a, a spell of a couple of wickets in quick succession before you managed to bed in. What was required out there when you got out into the middle? Yeah, it feels it feels like a bit of a partnership sort of wicket. Um, we've spoken about that in the dressing room. It feels like you know um, when batters are in, it feels like it's a nice pitch to bat on, and then you know it can change quickly with a couple of wickets to be saw at the end there. So um, yeah, it was pretty simple really. Go out, um, play play my natural game, and um, enjoy batting with Clarke then. And it was a, obviously a brilliant knock. Yeah, how was it batting with Joe? He's made I think eight first class hundreds out of here now, so um, yeah, he knows a thing or two about getting a ton at Trent Bridge. Yeah, yeah, no, obviously he's a fantastic player, you know, he's one of the best players in the country, so um, to go out there and have his sort of calmness out there and uh, to have him chatting to me while I'm uh, trying to negotiate my innings um, was really good, so yeah, obviously nice to have him out there. Overall, how do you feel you're, you're settling into Trent Bridge life now? Yeah, it's been nice, sort of. Um, I'd like to settle in with 100, but uh, we'll, we'll, yeah, it was okay. Um, but no, loving it. Lads have been great. Um, and yeah, hopefully we can uh, bowl them out quickly in the morning and uh, set about chasing a score. How encouraging uh, has it been that players have stood up in those moments, I guess, today with yourself and Joe, and yesterday with Dane getting the wickets when maybe things could have turned the other way quite easily, if not? Yeah, absolutely. I thought Dane was outstanding yesterday. Um, to go through the middle order like he did, uh, and then Clarky today, fantastic. So, you know, if we can keep doing that for the next couple of days, and lads stick their hands up, and um, you know, and put us in winning positions, then uh, we'll be in a good place. It's a Cookerbore game in April, which is a little bit unusual. What's, uh, has that made much of a difference out there for you? Uh, potentially, I think it probably negates sideways movement maybe slightly compared to a Duke at this time of year. Um, but yeah, you know, it's still a ball coming down at the end of the day. So, uh, yeah, not not too much difference. Yeah, yeah. and um, it's pretty well poised ahead of day three. Uh, where do you see it at this point? Yeah, it's obviously very much in the balance. Um, as I said before, it's obviously a, very, a partnership that's wicked. So um, if we can hold our nerve tomorrow bowling wise, and then um, I think I'm back, back as to chase anything. So, yeah. And uh, not a lot of cricket played in various places across the country today, but we've, uh, we've had two pretty full days of cricket. Um, decent effort from the guys who are putting the covers back on now. Yeah, absolutely. The grand staff did an amazing job. Um, yeah, I mean, it was pretty wet yesterday morning. Um, didn't think we'd get much playing at all uh, all week if I'd rain. So, um, yeah, brilliant effort from the groundsmen. They've been brilliant all pre-season. Um, and just to see, you know, games being, two days being rained off. So, it's, you know, shows how good of a job they've done.